it going? Um, so, we're going to be doing some uh, R&B licks today. And uh, specifically, I'm going to try and keep it kind of in this A minor pentatonic shape that, that everyone loves. But I'm going to throw in a couple notes. I mean, it's basically just going to be an A minor, A, like natural minor scale. So I'll add in like there, and then sometimes I'll add in like the blues scale thing that but mostly it's going to be around that shape but you know with a couple things to help you rig out of that shape and um, some little licks to you know get started with the R&B guitar playing the little track is just D minor E minor and F D minor 7 E minor 7 F major 7 and uh, yeah so a lot of the stuff I was doing was um, was like double stop stuff also with like fourths so like there was a part in the song where I did this so basically all that is is these fourths so you have so yeah right there you just got that onto the next fret, onto the, uh, the sixth fret. You can do that, so. So it works really well in that kind of context. Also works over, like, if you're trying to do, a, like, a rhythm part, like. And you're sitting in the band, you could be like. It's a cool little run. Also, on the topic of double stops, did some of these little uh, kind of Hendrixy type things. So on that one, uh, we're gonna kind of stray from this shape. We're gonna throw in this. So that's gonna be on the uh, tenth fret. No, sorry, eighth fret. You're gonna play this fourth right here. So that's the B and the E string on the tenth fret. Then you're gonna move this. Uh, ring finger onto the tenth fret. So, and you're gonna move it over here. So you're gonna have the uh, eighth fret on the B string with your middle finger, and then um, you're gonna have the your index finger on the seventh fret, and you're gonna move that over to the ninth fret on the G string. So it's gonna go. same shape that you had down there then you move it up to the fifth and seventh fret on the G and D string and you go so you get the also you can throw in that you can do that slide down to the seventh fret over to the fifth fret on the G string and then hit that so all together you have Also, I was doing a lot of these um, muted little single note lines that uh, work great in just straight pentatonic. So, so that's just like going to be taking up the pentatonic scale, starting on the B string. You can do this. So you can So that's all pentatonic, you know, with like a little bit of get that blue note. Got like a little, do a lot of these little slidey things, just basically sliding your finger in and out, like like instead of bending, you do it with a slide. So you can do some of that. So 
that gets you started with some more single note stuff. Uh, and really, for this style, you can combine all those things. So you can like start with maybe some single note stuff like. in a double stop and some fourths you know stuff like that and um, yeah um, it kind of just gets you in the style of playing um, more R&B, more kind of groovy music. And uh, what's great about this approach too is it's all kind of like home base, really. You're just kind of phrasing it differently. You're gonna be using more mutes and like kind of like slide, sliding in and out of stuff. Um, you kind of want it to sound really like smooth at times and then sometimes choppy, you know? So like that's kind of the two characteristics of the style. So, you know, if you're doing like the muted little choppy but if you're doing the double stops you want to be like everything kind of flows together you know also just for one final note I also did some uh, kind of like chordy ish uh, lines like some of that and so basically for that like you can take like a C shape right but don't play the root play that it's, it's all in the fifth fret you know take your middle finger and your pinky and go you go to middle or sorry uh, yeah middle on the sixth fret and pinky on the eighth fret you slide those on or hammer those on and then you hit um, fifth fret that you're already barring I do it with my middle finger on my right hand so then now you take it down so Back the same way. And then add your uh, ring finger on the seventh fret up to the fifth fret. So, so you know that that's cool. Like if you're like ending a phrase. Yeah. Anyways, some stuff to get started. Uh, kind of keep in more of the pentatonic shape for the most part. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything. And yeah, thanks for watching.